you know, I was just, uh, you know, just looking around, seeing what, you know, because I mentioned him in my Royal Rumble predictions, what the Schleck Daddy had to say about some things, and, and uh, I, I, I looked at one of his videos he did in the past six days, and, uh, and, and the reason I say the past six days is because, or the past, yeah, I'd say the past six days, past week. Let's put it that way, because he did this on uh, on Sunday, and yet there was no truth to it. Uh, basically, the question is, you know, with Daniel Bryan not medically cleared, why doesn't WWE just release him? Here's why. WWE knows that if they release Daniel Bryan, word's going to get out about it. And they're going to have a riot, uh, and they are going to have such a backlash towards them because of what they did that it's going to reflect negatively on them from a public stand, from a publicity and public standpoint. That people, that those that support them and sponsor them and kind of help and kind of say, hey, you know, yeah, well. They kind of agree to team up with them or partner with them. They'll look at them as being nothing but hypocrites. That's what they're afraid of. They're afraid of the backlash they're going to get. Because pretty much, if they were to release Daniel Bryan, word's going to get out, if not already, that he's been cleared by a variety. That he's seen so many doctors <laughs> that have medically cleared him to get back in the ring, and yet WWE's doctors would not do it. That because of the popularity this guy's got, the following this guy's got, from not just a wrestling standpoint, but from a multimedia standpoint itself, that they, the WWE would be looked down upon as being hypocrites and jerks. You know, I, I believe that's why they have not... I believe, as some people think should be done, they have not released him because they're afraid, the WWE is afraid they're going to get that back backlash, at, you know, put down upon them by people, you know, people calling them out and saying, hey, you know, you had these doctors clear him, some of these are the best doctors uh, in the country, if not the world, clear him to go back and wrestle, and yet you're not letting him, what kind of people are you? You know, maybe what, you know, this Phil Brooks, this CM Punk said about you is true, and they don't want that. They don't want that uh, to happen. That is why they have not released him, because they know they're going to get backlash. Now, I said in my Royal Rumble predictions that the best option is to bring him back at the Rumble. And maybe they're going to do that. But the only reason they're keeping him off right now isn't because he's medically cleared and could be medically cleared by their doctors and probably will be. It's because of the obvious situation we all know of. And that situation is they don't want him to interfere with the Roman Reigns project. Look, we all know that for the past year, year and a half, going on two years, the WWE has been backing Roman Reigns. They want Roman Reigns to be their guy. And right now he's getting over with the fans in a way, because in, in, such a, in a way that pretty much WWE doesn't want anything to screw that up. Doesn't want anything or anyone to screw that up. But seriously, right now with the roster depleted the way it is, I think what everybody has said is true. They need a guy like Daniel Bryan back on the roster. But again, the reason they don't is because they don't want a distraction from the Reigns project. That's the whole situation. They don't want Daniel Bryan, the fans, to go from Roman Reigns to Daniel Bryan and suddenly the cheers Roman's getting where it's like, Roman, Roman, instead it'll be like, boo, boo. You know they don't they don't want that they they don't want that and want that if Daniel Bryan's there because then fans are going to say we want Daniel because then because then fans are going to be like we want we'll go like yes 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 we want Daniel Bryan as champion they don't want that they want the w, they basically want they basically want the fans to realize that Roman Reigns is the guy is their guy to be the new face of the company and. They're going to stick with it no matter what. But that's where the WWE, you know, needs to wake up and realize, yeah, Roman Reigns could be your guy, 
But maybe the way you bring Daniel Bryan back is you have him do exactly what he's done with several other of the big men, like Ryback and so, have him come out and endorse Roman Reigns. Have him probably come out and talk to the people and say, look, I know you want me to be champion. I know you want me to be the guy. You want me to be the face of the company. But I've had my shot. I've had my run. It didn't turn out well. And I'll get another shot down the line. But right now, I'm asking for you to support Roman Reigns. I'm asking you to support him because right now he's in the same predicament I was in. He's fighting the authority because the authority doesn't want him as champion because they don't see him as their champion. You know, I mean, I, if I'm WWE, I would have, I would bring Daniel back and I would have him do that. I would not, I would not, I would not keep holding him off television knowing that he's medically cleared to compete again. I would not keep doing that. I'd bring him back. And then I'd have him do something like that, have some kind of promo where he endorses Roman, explains, hey, I'm going to get another shot down the line. But right now, get behind Roman because he's got he's going through a similar situation as I am with the authority trying to take him out, trying to take him down. So. But, you know, that is why. But honestly, the reason, you know, WWE doesn't release him is because, like I said, it's they're afraid of the backlash they're going to get the backlash of. Oh, this guy got medically cured by all these other doctors, some of the best in the country, if not the world, and yet your own doctors don't want to uh, medically clear him. That makes you guys look like hypocrites. You know, so, honestly, if anybody wants to know, this is why WWE has not released Daniel Bryan. And possibly won't until his contract's expired. But let me know what you guys think. Talk to you all later.